Hats off, gentlemen, a genius. So wrote Robert Schumann in a review on hearing Chopin's variations on a theme from Mozart's opera Don Giovanni. Chopin dedicated the second of his four ballades to Schumann, and it is these ballades which I have chosen to write my thoughts about this week. Chopin fled from revolution in his native Poland in 1830 when he was 20 years old. He had already written his two piano concertos by then. As with all his music, the ballads are infused with Polish traditional harmony, written with heart-wrenching tenderness, and I have always felt that Chopin was the Mozart of the 19th century. As is the case with extended passages of these ballads, Chopin's music is frequently highly virtuosic, but the virtuosity is not an end in itself. Chopin's melodic writing is often based in the style of romantic Italian opera arias, such as those written by Bellini and Donizetti, with an umcha-cha left hand, and the bel canto aria solo, as it were, in the right hand. We find examples of this in the first melody of the first and fourth ballads, immediately following their short introductions. Chopin had a troubled nine-year relationship with the author Amantine Dupin, who changed her name to the masculine Georges Sand as a means of becoming more widely read. There is a clary hue I would like to share with you. Frédéric Chopin used to drop in to hold the heart of Georges Sand. I hope you enjoy listening to these inspired and wide-ranging works and reading more about them in the blog on my website.